I want you to think about somebody in your life you can't live without. Somebody when you're having the worst possible day that you can ever think about, they're the person that shows up. And I want you to think what life would be without that person in it because you drove drunk and you killed him. None for under 21 and choices beyond focuses on good choices and on regrettable consequences. Our goal here today is to reduce preventable crashes, especially during your prom and graduation celebrations. Truck flipped three times and wrapped around a telephone pole. My name is Aaron Cooksey, and I have been a part of the Nun for Under 21 program for about a decade now. My role is to share my nightmare of taking the life of my best friend while I drove drunk July 29th, 2001. Our youngest son is forever 14. His name is Ryan. He's forever 14 because he was killed in an automobile accident on August 13th, 2001. I have this opportunity to tell the story of my son Ryan and his uh, fatal car accident. And it provides me the opportunity to keep Ryan's memory alive. The nursing supervisor walked my wife and I down to the morgue. It was so hard to stay in that room, and I should have stayed longer. I should have stayed longer. I'd give anything for one more minute. It is so important to reiterate the message of the terrible consequences of a poor decision, whether it's related to distracted driving by way of text, or drinking and driving, or being in the car with an impaired driver. Um, this event hopefully will save lives. I got into my car. Somebody from inside had noticed how much I drank and knocked on my car window. And I remember them saying, are you okay to drive? And I remember giving two thumbs up. I drove down to my street and I began to feel tired. Just then I'd heard a loud noise and my windshield shattered. I'd hit a person. Her boyfriend who had been walking with her now sat next to her screaming, somebody call 911. Somebody call 911. The next segment of this program is the Walk of Remembrance. These are very real people, real memories, and incredibly real losses. Today, our speakers shared personal messages with you. Although each speaker had a different experience, they are identical in the fact that the consequences will last forever. I wanted to be a teacher. Because of the felony, I can no longer do that. I have no driver's license, I have a felony on my record, and options are very, very limited. I'm 16 years removed from that crash. A father to a beautiful little girl named Harper. There's going to come a day and there's going to come a time that I have to sit this little girl down and I have to tell her what I did. A small piece of my daughter's heart is permanently going to break that day, but you know what hurts a little more? is Andrea's family wakes up every day and they don't even get a shot with their daughter because of people like me. The bare minimum, I hope when they walk out of here, that at some point in the next 24 hours, they bring this program up and then a line of communication gets opened. If kids are going home and talking to their parents or they're talking to each other, then you know that it's at least in their mind and at least they're thinking about it. I would say let the choices you make today be choices you can live with tomorrow. I'm not asking you to not do what you do. I'm asking you to do what you do and do it safely. Look out for one another. Even if you don't like somebody, look out for them. Take care of each other. You have your entire lives ahead of you. And all of us want you to do what is in your own individual power to make that life as happy and as healthy and as safe as possible.